Whose idea was this? Mine. Was it your idea? These things are usually my They're idea. They're usually your idea. Yeah. We got another one video. <laughs> well, we got a new animal on the farm. Let's take a drive and show you what we got. <laughs> Look at me drive. Exactly what I wanted this to be. But I was worried he escaped, but he did. He's in here. show you the new animal there's a bit of chaos here I got to get everybody in we're doing rotational grazing here and we're strip grazing and everybody there was some rowdy activity which we'll get to in a second and uh, they must have knocked down my back line you can hear it here it's grounding good shock yeah. so I got to fix I got to get everybody in I got to fix my back line and then we'll talk to you about the new animal and why and to get you getting shocked. That's what the people are here for. Really don't want to get shocked. Nailed it. All right, so I got to open this gate up, get all the animals back in. They're all out. Sheep are out. Cows are. Everybody's out. Ay ay ay. This is where your Spanish side comes out. Huh? <laughs> Everybody's back in where they belong, and now we can introduce you to Mr. Big over there. All right, there he is, the new guy on the farm. And he's gonna be moving a lot, because Luna's coming in the heat and he's trying to catch her. Uh, she's not ready to stand yet, though. I would guess this evening she'll start standing. This is Conchos. And people who've been following along with our story maybe remember him from last year. He's actually... Cricket's baby daddy. Yeah. Just just hers. Because he bred the other two, but nobody kept their pregnancy because of a selenium deficiency that we were having. So, here we are. We have him again. He's actually... A, uh, belongs to a friend of ours who raises teeny tiny little cows. Probably... Boy. <laughs> three foot tall. They're really cute. But he's got a little bull of his own that he wants to breed his cows, but Conchos is getting in the way. Because believe it or not, Conchos is a big guy compared to this other little bull he has. So we're taking Conchos off his hands and using him for our girls. Because Grasshopper in a month or so is going to need rebred. Luna needs bread and Honeybee calves at the end of November. So coming into winter, she'll need bread again too. We know Leroy from the Mini Jersey World. A few years ago, I started looking around at bulls in the area that we could lease, and Leroy had conchos and was more than happy to even bring him to us to help us with our breeding season last year, which was a huge help, really nice guy. So when those breedings didn't take on Luna, Leroy found out, he said, well, why don't you guys come pick up Concho and uh, borrow him for the year? He could use the open space. So we headed down to Leroy's farm, which you're not going to believe the size of the cows on Leroy's farm. You think ours are small? Take a look at the teeniest, tiniest cows I've ever seen. though how cute she, she oh my goodness these are half these two are half people come here bobby 
Mama get cookies for you. Come on, Dick cookies, huh? You Look at the walk? size of this. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I, I, I saw your pictures. I didn't even believe it. Yeah. And, and now that's her, both of those are her calves. So, so. Can you believe the size of these things? Oh, and they still milk. I mean, they still milk like you wouldn't believe. Really? Yeah, and and it's that A2A2 milk, but their yeah. fat globulin's even smaller. So people with like your kid that has, he would do for no her. No way. She still milk a gallon and a half after feeding her cat. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding you. Look at this. We're stopping by Leroy's farm today to pick up that big guy. I've seen pictures of Leroy's cows, but I can't even believe how. I thought we had many cows. <laughs> yeah. Now, the, I did find two more, but I, I'm going to, we're about to get rid of them. You're selling them all, Leroy. I think so. It's Concho. That's Who, the boy. How old is this one three, over here? Is it three years old? Three. This is a three-year-old yeah, cow. That's three years old. Are you kidding me? Yeah. The, I mean, they wouldn't. Let's go stand in the sun. They would stand I mean right the shade. there on me. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe. Yeah, there's so tiny. I didn't remember how small Concho is. He's really a small little thing. Because we were afraid of him. Nice we're here to pick up Concho. You guys will remember Concho when he came by the farm to breed grasshopper. I got her when she was a calf. And uh, the first two cows I got, I had to get a bull. Don't smell. Don't smell the fence. That's bad for your nose. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, but we bred all these on the farm. And then I had to go get him clear out in Missouri. I, I drove out to Missouri to get him. Yeah, I remember you showing me pictures of petals and like, I mean, you know, you can see on the phone, oh yeah, that's a little cow, but my goodness. Yeah, that's a thing. You just don't get it. But see, as Blossom gets tamer, then her calves got tamer. She was really, really wild when we got her. Do you know if she's pregnant? Who, Blossom? I'd say they're all pregnant. I really would think they're all pregnant. I don't know if Petals is pregnant for sure. Oh, he likes that. Oh, you're going to be Concho's buddy there, honey. <laughs> well, your cows are little more than Concho, though. Are you going to lead them out to your I can. I can lead them out I just can't even believe this. Seeing them in person is so much more, like, just amazing. Those biting flies getting you, honey. Our poor little bull, he's gonna be all uh, intimidated. <laughs> yeah. Learn to be a man. Hi. Yeah, that's how you have to Are you ready? Yes, sir. Where's my, uh, where am I going? Go behind. Release the beast. Watch out, baby. Come on. All right, come on. There we go. Good boy. Yep, not there. Yep, you keep going. There we go. Yep, you keep the girl. Wait, who walked in here? Okay. Mm -hmm. You, uh... <laughs> you uh... You remember him? Get out of here. Baby, come back. All right, he touched the fence there. Fence got him.
That's cool, look at that, man. Pawn that ground. Leroy is a super cool farmer. Everything on this farm is the cutest little miniest thing, and uh, we're really grateful. He's to a them. tall guy who likes tiny cows. <laughs> so uh, thanks, Leroy. Thanks, Cheryl, for letting us borrow Concho. He's gonna make my life, our yeah, life, much nicer this fall. Coming into hunting season, that's a nice thing. Oh, that's right. For us and our situation right now, with me being pregnant, and Austin, I know, doesn't want to deal with the hassle of AIing three cows, a bull, a little bigger than the one we have here, it would be nice to get the job done for all three cows. Now, Concho is a very, very nice tempered bull. He's also, as you can tell, he's a little bit smaller. He's a mini Jersey, too. Uh, but being a mini bull, he's still uh, an incredibly powerful animal and that's why you'll notice we stand on the outside of the electric fence and we keep space in between us and him and uh, we keep our escape route very very close so we give Concho the respect he needs. Yes that means we didn't get Luna bread with the last AI session. It would be a lot easier to have him do the job for us. A lot more semen. His timing will be perfect. Mini jerseys are different from jerseys in that I'm just going to try to forestall some of the comments saying they're fat. Mini jerseys are not a jersey, commercial jersey. And we just saw this at the county fair. <laughs> a lot more bones showing on a commercial jersey, a commercial dairy cow. So they're going to look a little stouter than your average dairy cow. Especially the pregnant ones. But they are really easy keepers and that's a nice thing about the mini jerseys, the smaller jerseys. As just on grass, they, they keep really nice body condition. The vet's checked everybody out. He says everybody looks good, good for breeding. R Luna is cycling regularly. Wait for conscious to get her pregnant now.